Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? Root 4 minus x plus root x plus 1 equals to 3. From here, let's separate root x plus 1 into that side. And this becomes root 4 minus x equals to 3 minus root x plus 1. Then in the next step, let's take the square on both sides. Let's square both sides. We square this side. Then we square this side. So the square of this side, here, yeah, square will cancel square root. And we have 4 minus x here. Yeah. Then on this side, when we expand it, so this gives us 3 squared. So we have 3 squared. Then plus root x plus 1 squared. So we square that, then minus 2 times 3 times root x plus 1, we have 2 times 3 times root x plus 1. Then from here, we can simplify further, and this will become 4 minus x equals to 3 square, we have 9, then square cancel square root here, we have plus x plus 1, then minus 2 times 3, that's 6, root x plus 1. And uh, in the next step, let's take minus 6 root x plus 1 to this side, become plus, we have 6 root x plus 1 here, then equals to, let's take everything on this side to that side, we have 9 plus x plus 1 before, here, yeah. then when we take this one, become minus 4, plus 4 become minus 4, then minus x become plus x. Then, when we add the like terms together here, yeah. so we have 6 root x plus 1 equals to, we have, let's add x first, we have x plus x, that gives us 2x, so we have 2x, then we have 9 plus 1, that's 10 minus 4, that's 6. We have plus 6. Then in the next step, let's divide both sides by 6. Divide this side by 6. And divide this side by 6. Yes, 6 cancels 6 here. Then we have, what is left here? We have root x plus 1 equals to, here we can factor 2 out. And that will be 2 into bracket x plus 3. Then over 6 also can be written as 2 times 3. Here, 2 cancel 2. And uh, from here, we have root x plus 1 equals to x plus 3 over 3. Now, let's square both sides again. Take the square on both sides. Then, the square cancel square root here. We have x plus 1 left here. Then, equals to here, we square the numerator. And we square the denominator. Now, here, x plus 3 squared is same thing as x squared plus 3 times x times 2, that's plus 6x. Then plus 3 squared, that's plus 9. Over then we square 3 here as well, that's over 9. So this is over 1 here. Then by the time we cross multiply here, then we multiply x plus 1, that will be 9x plus 9. Then equals to, we have x squared here, plus 6x plus 9. Then, we can collect the like terms. And then when we take everything to one side here, we have, already we have 9 on both sides. So 9 cancel out. So let's take 9x to this side. We have x squared plus 6x. On this side, then take 9x here. That will be minus 9x equals to 0. And what we have here is x squared minus 3x equals to 0. Then factor x out. We have x common there. So we have x out into bracket x minus 3 equals to 0. So is it that x equals to 0? Or we have x minus 3 equals to 0. And from here, x equals to 3. So therefore, the solution to the problem we have x equals to 0 and we have x equals to 3.
So these are the solution to this problem. We can put this in the equation given to confirm whether we have the solution. And when we test, the two value of x satisfy the given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class. And bye for now.